in answer to the question about disarming a knife, disarming a gun, disarming a stick, what systems do, what they don't, this is the Eskrima Concepts version of that, if faced with one of those weapons. Obviously, if someone is surprising you, there's gonna be a different reaction. If someone just wants to kill you, there's a different reaction. We're working on, we've got a weapon, they've got a weapon, and they are facing us with the weapon to begin with. At the moment, they're out of range, so I can't do anything. As soon as that's presented to me, I'm just gonna hit it. The key is to hit it getting out of the way. And then preferably hitting it more than once. Same as if I'm going to the other side, they're coming in. That's what I'm looking to do. Super simple, super easy. If I move my feet, if I don't move my feet and I just try and hit them, it then becomes a match of reaction, speed, power, and it can all go wrong. If it's just got the knife, and I've got my stick or cane, again, straight off and hit. And from there, it could be up, it could be down, it could be the other arm. If I'm coming at it from underneath, I am able to come up and come back down again. But with our system, preferably, it will just be repeated, simple strikes with the footwork to move us out the way. Now, we were also asked about a firearm. We're in the UK, playing around with guns isn't gonna go very well. So for this, just reverse the knife and make it look less like a knife. Again, if I'm faced with it in front of me, if I stand there and just go to hit it, he's only got to pull the trigger. So this is a really difficult one because what's the situation? Are they just pulling a weapon to attack me? Are they drawing it? You know, if he's got it down in a holster to one side, is he doing a cross draw or a parallel? If he's pulling it out and I've got my weapon, bang, moving off and hitting straight to the weapon and the hand, preferably the hand. The more damage I can do to them, the less chance they pull out a backup weapon, the less chance they continue the attack. So if he does that, just pulls it out. And then from the other angle, Again, hopefully you can see that difference as soon as that's drawn, I'm moving off and out the way, either to the inside or to the outside. And that will be determined by exactly where I am and where he is if he draws. I don't really want to cross in front of it. I've got to decide where it's coming from. If he's pulling it out from the other side, for argument's sake, going to the outside is ideal because I can just get across and hit. The hit doesn't look like much. If we swap it round, and Cole kindly puts an armoured glove on, and I've got a padded stick, it's still wood inside, but it's padded so we can show exactly what's gonna happen. He draws that weapon. Yeah, it's straight in and just hit and move. And then preferably, once I've hit that, then I can come in and do something else. If you come in again and hit, now I've got the option, do I want to come in, whatever I want to do from there. If I was unarmed, and it was a blade or an arm, uh, a gun, I've got to get out of the way. As soon as that comes in, I've got to get offline. That's the key, same as if we go at the other angle. I'm moving out the way of the weapon. I'm not really trying to control this at this point in time. So if he's coming from here again, I'm trying to take him out as soon as I can to hit, to strike. Then I can come back and deal with that if I want, if it's safe, if I've hit him enough. If not, I just want to hit and get out of the way. Obviously, if it's a projectile weapon, I want to be coming in, hitting that, hitting that, hitting it breaking it, smashing it, moving away, so I'm out of range of that arm, and then I can get that, knock it away, whatever I need to do. But it still comes down to move off, out the way, and attack them. 
So I hope that's given you a little bit of an idea of how we might deal with it in a screamer concept. Move off, hitting, low, high, not too circular, just straight, fast, vertical strikes. Thank you. So we look at the value of attacking the body and the head rather than trying to control the arm. If he comes in to stab me and I try and control the arm, I just line myself up. If I try and come round it and do the same, there's so many different things, even if he just stabs me twice. Yeah, it's, it's really difficult. I can grab the blade and disarm and all that kind of thing you see, but you're gonna mess up. Whereas when he attacks, And we do it again. Yep. Even here, I am hitting, all my body is coming in and pushing. And I've got this arm because of the position I'm in and how I'm attacking. So even if he's carrying on driving that in, I am striking, I can break, I can control, all of that from that position because I've hit and I'm not trying to keep this close to me. I don't want to control that in here for this situation. I want that out of the way where I can see it. And my structure will hold that open arm as best I can. 